Come, Father of the poor, come, treasures which endure, come, light of all that live. Day two of our Pentecost Novena, the gift of fear. The gift of fear allows us to worship God with his due reverence and honor uh, for fear of him, uh, not so much out of fear of hell, but as uh, a fear of offending him uh, because of our love. Uh, it gives us a proper perspective to to turn away from all that would lead us away from his his embrace and his love and his goodness um, and to uh, to give our lives completely to him uh, for who he is and out of true devotion to him and so we pray for this gift of fear in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen come O blessed spirit of holy fear penetrate my inmost heart that i may set you my lord and my god before my face forever Help me to shun all things that can offend you and make me worthy to appear before the pure eyes of your divine majesty in heaven, where you live and reign in the unity of the ever-blessed Trinity, God, world without end. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. The Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his pierced blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. Amen. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, before ascending into heaven, did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples. Deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that I may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding, 
to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth, the spirit of counsel, that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you, and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, and the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease Him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.